Hi Gemini, so I'm doing the sete uh, September readings. My words are gobbledygook good with yours. Um, I'm going to be doing the September readings, especially for the first half of September with the Pisces full moon happening on the 2nd of September. Um, it can hit people quite emotionally, but it's also the creativity moon as well so uh, i'd be doing some research on the Pisces full moon how it affects your sign etc i'm also going I'm, I'm asking people if they can like my videos on youtube i know i get a lot of followers on facebook uh, on my page on divinely guided with love and a lot of comments and stuff but it'd be really helpful if the comments and the likes could go on to youtube um I'm going to be doing readings again in the middle of September for the last two weeks of September. But because it's full moon, I've decided I'm going to do the Psychic Tarot and the Empowerment deck. Uh, just to give you an insight on how it's going to affect you emotionally. Uh, see if we can give you some advice on how to deal with this full moon. I'm also going to put in the link below uh, my website and other ways that people can contact me for personal readings, etc. So I'm just going to kick straight off with the Psychic Tarot for Gemini for the... Virgo, uh, well, it's not Virgo, Virgo season, but September full moon, Pisces full moon. So, September for my Gemini's situation, material and spiritual prosperity. So, the situation is it's about looking out and using your spiritual gifts, intuition, and things like that in order to gain materialistically. Um, so it's to bring things in using your intuition to bring things in that are tangible, uh, cars, houses, things like that works double, that works fine for me. I'm a double Gemini. Um, so it's about bringing in what you want, setting foundations about the uh, future. So again, creativity. So challenge for my Gemini's recognition and reward so the challenge is i feel it's more to recognize your own worth and the effort that you're putting in in order to manifest these situations uh the material and spiritual prosperity so it's it's to recognize yourself it's to recognize the light shine down on you he's got his head down you know it's time to stand in your power it's time to recognize what you've been through what you're going to what you're going towards goal setting um both red cards both action it's about taking action in order to bring your goals into fruition so why is this coming right now for my gemini's sacrifice so what spirit are asking you to do so you may be in a bit of a low situation at the minute so spirit are asking you to sacrifice um to succumb to it to release to, um to release anything, it, to get you out of this like, sinking sand type thing. So the things could be going on around you universally, energetically, uh, with people, with, uh, you know, situations where you feel it's just like sinking sand. They're asking you to sacrifice that self-doubt, um, the worry, the anxiety, to sacrifice it and let it go and allow the divine to step in and help you gain this material and spiritual prosperity. So really, really nice start, Gemini. So, recent past for my Geminis. Recent past, so we've got the Triumph. We've got the Triumph card. It also comes with red flags. So, you could see red flags or you could be thinking, oh, God, you know, there's red flags in this. But whatever is happening, it's happening for a reason because you're being catalysted forward. So, it's another Black Major Arcana card. So, those red flags that you did see and they didn't listen to are catalysting you forward into somewhere better. So, at present, for my Geminis... Oh, throat chakra so speaking your truth um gemini's air using your tongue as a sword it's, to, it's communication or to go and find that communication it's also to listen and with these uh with the sacrifice card and the material and spiritual prosperity card being here i feel it's more to listen to your intuition listen to your guides and things like that um conversations may open new doors there's, there's something to with conversations that are going on at the minute um it, and it's to release so you may may have to speak what's on your mind uh you might not want to something will be holding you back so near future the will of destiny so things start to spin in your favor and this is what i was saying before um about things going bad in the past and maybe there were red flags that we overlooked um but it's leading us towards something better so we've got the 10 could october could be significant um but it's all about in your life, you could have been going around in circles. So you find yourself, you lose yourself. You find yourself, you lose yourself. 
we need to sacrifice that. We need to go forwards now because it's time for the light to shine down on you. She's recognising that. The challenge is for you to recognise that that light shining down on you. You're getting those epiphanies. You're getting that information that you need. Something is definitely coming in that's good. It's the it's the ten. It's the it's the end of a cycle. It's it's finally fulfilment. I I'm getting a safety element, safety in life, safety with emotions. It's this this full moon is bringing good luck into you. Could take a couple of months for it to play out, but like I said, I'll be doing readings again middle of September, so we'll go forward from that. But it is about the healing of the heart chakra as well. So the wheel of destiny is starting to spin in your favor. So your power in this situation. Two minutes. So, your white's coming around is major arcana. Your past is major arcana. Present major arcana, and your future is major arcana. So, even though it might not feel like where you're supposed to be right now, you're definitely where you are supposed to be. Your power in this situation is the authority card. So, it's to take charge. Um, we're in the four year 2020, so it's to take charge of your own finances, your emotions, it's to be your own boss. Um, it's that type of thing. Your pa your power is to come into your power and to take authority on these things. Definitely throat chakra energy. If you need to say something, say it. If you need to say no, say it. Uh, you know, it's to gain authority of your own life. Again, I'm getting this safety issue. So you need to, it's like you almost need to feel in control in order to feel safe within your own life, within your own emotions and choices. So your power is to get into that enough major arcana. Outside influences, what's influencing this read? Love begins. So two people or two energies, that could be if you're on your own, it could be you um, with spirit. But what spirit are saying is they will put in the same amount of effort as you, you do to start off a brand new stream. So there's something brand new starting. That's the outside influence of all this. There's something brand new starting. It's time to be rewarded for past, for past work, for past heartaches maybe. The past sinking sand moment. You're climbing out of that sinking sand. Hope so fears. Crown chakra. So that you're downloading that information, that you're going to listen to that information, that you're opening up to spirit. You can see that all the the chakra colours going down into a crown chakra. You know, your hope their hope for you is that your crown chakra is wide open. I would definitely be meditating. Um and going with your information. And then your outcome is memories of love. So uh, that can be soulmate energy. It can be issues regarding children. It can be people from the past, uh, dealing with things from the past, letting go of things. So I just want one more to clarify the memories of love. Yeah, so you're ending a cycle of trapped in fear. So you could, it's like you're going through an, and you've been going through an energetic phase of maybe anxiety trapped in your own head, overthinking things. Your outcome is the wheel of fortune is spinning in your favour. So if there's trust issues or safety issues, feeling safe and things like that, you're coming out of that vibration, you're coming out of that old eight, you're going into a new eight. And we are starting a new cycle. So this full moon might bring on a few emotions for you to deal with. But then on top of that, we've got Prosperity Begins again. So we've got two people planting a seed. They've got brand new fresh start. Something stronger is going to build from this. So it looks really, it looks really nice. Something definitely st stronger is going to build from this. So you could be going for a turbulent time, but it's, it's going to work out for the best. So empowerment for Gemini around this full moon. So situation, you need to stay grounded because there's an ungrounded energy. Again, not feeling safe, not feeling secure, it's not feeling grounded and rooted. So that's the situation we need to deal with. So what's challenging for that? Connection. So connection is about putting it into yourself. It could be out of connections, using out of connections in order to feel the safety again, or it's connection with yourself. Um, again, the authority card, being your own personal boss, being your own personal power, your connection with your higher self. So it's to get connected again. So if you've lapsed on things like that with your intuition and not listening to it and things, it's time to get connected to you again in order to be grounded. For you to blossom. So why is this coming around now? Yeah, because you're in a drained energy. So the, the throat chakra could have been like information you didn't want to deal with. You feel like everyone's attacking you or you feel like you, your own self's attacking you, you know, your own thoughts and things like that. You could be being dragged back down into an ego trap. Um, so the situation is we're moving away from drained energy, from draining energy, because 
you need a spiritual Red Bull. It's time to make a comeback. So you could be really tired or overrun at the minute, especially mentally. She's fading. She's literally fading. So we need to gain that connection back with ourselves. Recent past conflict. Yeah. So I do feel like there's been arguments or bad bad feelings, dramas, um, yeah, conflicts, that type of energy. And that's what we need to come away from, the drained energy. It could be connections that we need to come away from. At present, manifesting. Really good. I'm glad I saw this. So manifesting. I'm on I'm a double Gemini and I am literally on a mission to manifest um a new home right now. Uh, I, I was served an eviction notice uh due to the the things that are going on in the universe at the minute, can't be helped. Um but you are in manifestation mode, so this is probably why we need to get you grounded and they say material and spiritual prosperity. So I feel a lot of Geminis are in that manifestation mode. Be very careful with your thoughts. Every thought is an investment. So turn it into a positive. We need to get out of that energy and not feel for, sorry for yourself and start manifesting. Stop putting this mod magic out there. Near future. Oh, all my cards are flipping out. All right, wait a minute. Near future. Abandoned and lonely. So it doesn't actually mean abandoned and lonely. I don't know why I wrote that on this card. But it is, again, walking away from draining situations. We're saying goodbye to these people, starting new things. The hand of the divine leads us towards people and places that will bring more light into our life, more safety, more security, um, that type of thing. So there's definitely big changes. You're manifesting big changes. Coming out of inner conflict or conflict with others, you're manifesting something brand new. Um, if this is love life, it could be a toxic relationship. You're manifesting a brand new one. The light of the divine is taking you towards the hand that will help you. So there is helping hands. There's that type of energy. So you definitely it, you do you're doing a one eight. Say it's, things are changing. You're powering this situation as your throat chakra. So it is again. It's about speaking your truth or asking the universe, praying if you if you're into that, uh, meditating, journaling, listening for those signs. Um, listening having conversations going out there and fat so instead of sitting there feeling sorry for yourself going out there opening yourself up for communication um especially if it's like relationship wise opening yourself up for communication i do feel like you need to speak about your emotions and don't hold it hint because i've got this element of there's like a, a conflicted energy around uh in in the mind maybe you need to ask for help or speak just just let people know how low you're feeling Outside influences. Yeah, trapped in the mind. So it's those questions that basically you probably won't ever get answers for. But I'm getting this energy that you're overthinking things. There's a lot of questions. You need a lot of answers. Um, you know, what's a dead end? It, it's that type of thing that you don't... It's a It's the prison of your own mind. You've been drained. By the prison of your own mind. It's time to escape it. Hope so fears for you. Your heart chakra. So they want you to be happy. You want to be happy. Your heart chakra just wants to glow. You want to come out of this energy. Your outcome is mother nature. So it is being grounded. I always see this as the earth energy. We're, in, we're into Virgo now. But again, it's about safety. Feeling grounded. Something better is coming it's going to blossom. It's the goddess card, you know, treating yourself like the goddess or the god that you really are uh, in human spirit, in human form, should I say. Um, so, again, you're being grounded. So, if it is roots, feel well, you, your challenge is you're feeling unrooted. Your outcome is you do feel grounded. So, things are going to work out. So, I just want to clarify the Mother Nature card. Nature could be a big uh, thing in this that could help grounding energies the page of pentacles yeah so waiting on news that will make you feel grounded again earth energy the page of pentacles the two of wands so the, yeah there could be movement so we you could be moving home hopefully that, that's what i want uh there could be travel there could be you know moving forward away from a situation Yeah, ten of burdens in reverse, ten of wands in reverse, and then you can drop the burdens. We did get the ten in the de uh, destiny card, so we could be going towards October. 
magician manifesting again or you could be dealing with an aries and then the four, four of swords we don't need to overthink about it then because we gain the answers so i think the throat chakra is waiting on that information that we need so i really hope that helps and i'll be back in the middle of september and like i said before i'll put me in for down at the bottom so you can contact me if you need to okay bye